here we are, Clarksdale, Mississippi. Lots of street vendors, lots of street music. Everywhere you turn, there's a vendor or a store, a store or a marketplace. Lots of fun, and this place gets even crazier at night. Well, good morning, everyone. This is Bill here. I'm in Clarksdale, Mississippi at the Juke Joint Festival. Well, I have had three days of fun here. It is Saturday morning. I'm ready for a Planet Fitness. I'm used to, uh, during this travel, I've been stopping at Planet Fitness pretty much on the regular, a couple, couple times a day sometimes, getting in my workout, getting in the shower, using the massage chair while I was driving. Um, here, I've been here a couple of days. Now, my brother does have a hotel room and he keeps offering for me to come hang out with him and use the showers and use everything here. But I'm trying to do the camping thing and, you know, I'm here at a campsite. I'll show you that in a second. So this is the small campgrounds at the Expo Center where everybody is staying here. Got electric and sewer on some sites and a bathroom house. Yeah, I'm ready to uh, take them up on the offer. I'm going to go in today because this, this is my last day. Tomorrow will be the last day for the festival. And they're going to stick around and hang out and, of course, finish it out. I'll be heading back towards home. I've got some stuff to take care of with Stace earlier into the week, like Tuesday and Wednesday. So I want to get back home. But basically, uh, just been having a blast. There's so many cool shops, so many nice people. Um Definitely really enjoying the uh, the music and the shops and the foods. There's a lot going on. So I'm hoping to um, get everything wrapped up here today. I'm going to see Dickie play. My brother's playing today, tonight. And then uh, I think I'm going to maybe pack up the van and start heading towards Michigan late tonight, maybe seven, eight o'clock. I'm not really sure. And just start pounding out the road because I got to get home. <laughs> but uh, hey, the van has been working out great. Um, I generally, even at home, don't sleep a lot. Uh, I have not noticed any complications of sleeping in the van or having the van here. Uh, I just don't sleep a lot. So I run on fuel of uh, Speedway coffee or McDonald's coffee and I just kind of push. I know that's not good. I, I got to get more sleep. And I struggle with it at home too. Uh, I've been using my CPAP. The one thing I've learned from this whole trip and everything is, well, a couple of things. I love Planet Fitness. Uh, when I do these trips, uh, I'm planning out a Planet Fitness every two to four hours, as long as there's one along the route. And there generally is. And I really appreciate them. I like the massage chair. I like the uh, ability to take a shower, use the bathrooms 24-7 along the way. So big plug for Planet Fitness. So, yeah, I'm loving that. And then uh, just in general, getting a workout in, too. It's a good thing. Can't tell. I could use lose a few more still. Anyway, so uh, great campground. 10 bucks a night. Very cheap. It's got electric and everything, and I did go through and explore a little deeper into the bathrooms, and there were some other rooms. I thought they were utility rooms. They were showers, so they actually have all that here if I wanted to go and use their shower. I'm going to opt for using the hotel uh, just just because. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, just in general, I didn't feel like lugging everything over there and doing it. I'll take a bag into the hotel and do it real quick. So, music-wise, oh my gosh, so much great stuff. On the streets, every three or four shops, there's somebody playing live out on the street. Uh, there are a couple main stages. There's this Delta Blue stage where Kingfish, um, Christone Ingram, played uh, the other day. And I recorded that. And if you want to check it out, I've got a link up. Um, yeah, I put that on one of my other channels. I have a few of the videos from my brother, Dickie James, and stuff. I'm not real sure if YouTube will allow it or take it down. Well, we'll just have to see, you know, what they do with it. But it was a great concert, so I recorded it, sitting there right in the front row, and uh, just figured I'd share that with you guys if you're into blues or into guitar stuff, because uh, this kid's pretty awesome. So let's see. Other than that, the things I've learned. I love Planet Fitness. 
Um, I need a bigger battery. If you hadn't seen that video, there is a video out here asking about some battery choices and stuff. Um, the 500 and the 300, between all the things that I'm using, I've been using the Hot Logic like crazy. I love that thing. It's awesome. I've been using the fridge. I've been using my CPAP. I've been powering up my laptop, my phone, you know, lots of things going on. And even during those two to four hour drives during the day, having everything plugged in in the car, I have noticed that I'm deteriorating quickly on batteries, especially with the fridge too, because it's running nonstop. Um, I guess I could kind of simplify with a just a cooler and a bag of ice or something like that. But I like the things that I have. And in fact, I'd like to add, one thing I'd love to add is a Keurig. So I'm going to get one of these bigger packs that gives me more capacity, but I'm also going to get something with a higher inverter in it. Um, as I've been researching and looking, I'm leaning heavily as I'm saving my money. I sold a guitar. I sold some other toys that I had and stuff, and I'm saving up uh, towards the Blue Eddy AC200P. And that's going to give me like, I think 2000 watt hours and, you know, really high inverter so I could run like a Keurig if I wanted. Heck, maybe even a little microwave. Um, but I'll tell you what, Hot Logic's doing a great job. I'm really liking it. I, I just ordered a third Hot Logic. I'm crazy. Uh, this one is purple and it's for Stacy for work. And uh, it's just going to make her smile. So I've got the little black mini Hot Logic in the car with me because I didn't feel like I needed to bring the Max, which is enough for two. And that's been working out perfect. It takes less watts. It's 45 watts versus like 110 for the bigger one. So works good for the van. And then I got Stacy a 110 version for work. And it's purple because she wanted the purple one. So, you know, just trying to make her happy. Happy wife, happy life, right? So uh, many of you probably don't know if you don't follow our Bonsai Keto channel that uh, we have been going through a couple weeks of craziness. Uh, Stacy had some polyps up inside her that we had to have removed and tested for cancer. And thankfully, all those tests have just cleared and she's doing well. And now she's got to go do a colonoscopy and they're going to check her out, you know, make sure there's nothing weird in there too, going on polyps or anything. And then, uh, yeah, she's reaching that glorious age of 50 here where now she's going to kill me. Anyway, no, she, she just turned 50. Well, she'll be turning 50 this year. So, you know, it's time for all those checkups. You got to lift the hood and check everything out, tighten everything up, do whatever it is they, they do at 50. I did all that stuff too. I'm over 50. So anyway, long story short, she's doing good. Everything is going good on that. So uh, no cancer. So very, very fortunate and happy and very excited about that news because we just found all that out. I wasn't even going to go on this trip. And there were so many other things. Our basement flooded just before we left. I had planned on working on the, the car, the van here for the weekend before I left. And when it flooded down there, everything got diverted to the basement, obviously. And uh, yeah, I just, I kind of felt like on Monday morning, I was like, am I even going to go on this trip now? You know, I was supposed to be leaving on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, I, I was talking with Stacy and she's like, just go, please just go. So I did go and I have enjoyed myself. I've had a lot of, I, man, this van drives like a dream. Uh, feel like I'm driving down the road on cloud, you know? Uh, I, I know that a lot of people have their, their things about Dodges and there's all kinds of problems. And I guess maybe we'll experience some. I'm at 62,000 miles on this 2015 so far. And it seems to be running really good for me. So, you know, I'll use it. It's my daily driver too. When I go home, all this stuff that's in here, the platform and everything, all just comes right out. So put the seats back up. Now I did leave my third row seats out. We never used them anyway. I find it more useful to use as a trunk area, just in general. So, and we have two kids, so I still have this stone goes in the floor. So we have room for four with no problems. So that works for us. Generally, it's just me and Stacy, or me and my youngest daughter. My oldest is off at college, and uh, I don't I don't usually have to drive her around so much anymore. I'm not the taxi driver anymore for that for that group of her and her band friends and stuff. But anyway, all right, this is getting long. So check out the Kingfish video. Check out uh, I'll I'll throw in some little clips of some of the things I've seen out here. And uh, my brother Dickie will be playing tonight. 
I might do one quick wrap up with just a few seconds. Oh, you know what? Yesterday we were at this uh, underground club. I, I forget the exact name of it. Ground Zero, I think it was. And uh, he was in there and there was a guy named Big T up there and he jumped up on stage and played with him for a little bit. Dickie and uh, I can even link one of the videos I've taken of Dickie out in Indiana because he's out by Illinois and uh, show you guys a little bit of his music. He's a great little blues guy too. And uh, yeah, there's an interesting story behind our relationship as brothers. We are half brothers and um, I lived 50 some years of my life thinking my dad was my dad and just so happens we all did those ancestry tests for fun to see what your background was and everything. And uh, it turned out that my sister is a half sister and we had different dads and I followed a path of what the heck's that all about? Jumped on Facebook. I found this group called the DNA Angels, I think it was. And I explained my story. I said, I'm confused because now apparently I have a different dad and how do I figure this out? And one of their angels, uh, she's awesome. She said, give me some more info and I'll try and help you. I don't think it was two, three hours. And she got back to me and said, here's your grandpa. Here's your dad. Here's your half brothers. Here's your half sisters. And I'm like, what? So yeah, me and Dickie have just uh, kind of found each other. Well, I found him, but you know, uh, within the last few years here. And strangely enough, we're both into music. We're both into guitars. We're both into the blues and the rocks and you know, all, the, all the great music that's out there. And uh, yeah, I think uh, it would have been awesome if I would have known him 30, 40, 50 years ago, you know, but hey, you know what? Life throws a curveball sometimes. You just got to move if it's coming at you, right? <laughs> or hit it, swing and hit it. No, uh, so it's a very interesting uh, little surprise. Uh, my mom has passed, so I couldn't ask any more questions about that. And of course, and sadly, he's passed as well, but i um, not really sure about the background on it all. But hey, you know what? I found two sisters and I found a brother. So I've got a sister out in Colorado, a sister down in Dallas, well, Dallas area, and then uh, Dickie there in Illinois. So uh, I'm very fortunate to have expanded my family. And uh, the sister I grew up with that, that I never knew was a half sister, it doesn't change anything. We've grown up our whole life from 50 some years, you know, and, you know, still just much my sister as any other, any of the other sisters or my brother. Uh, just uh, got a, a different life story out of all this, and that was something I was so not expecting, so not expecting. But it's I'm, I'm welcoming to it. I think it's really cool, and uh, I, I take every opportunity I can to come see Dickie play. I drove down here. This is a, about a 12 to 15 hour drive when you add in traffic and constructions and weirdnesses. But uh, you know, it was worth it. I, I had a really blast of, of a time. I've enjoyed all the music. I really like Kingfish. Obviously, if you can't tell from watching a couple other videos and the one I just uploaded and stuff too. So uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap things up. I'm going to head into uh, town again from the campground. Going to use uh, Dickie's shower and stuff later this afternoon. Get cleaned up, feel good, and uh, probably just see his shows tonight and then head out late tonight towards Michigan. Uh, I've, I haven't mapped out my route home. I'm going to go a little different. Uh, this time I'm going to head up straight north and go by my dad's gravesite. Uh, I haven't seen it. I've seen a picture of it. I've never been there, obviously. I'm going to go there and he's probably going to say, who's this kid, right? No, but uh, hey, you know what? It's It's really not far off the path. I can just Instead of shooting this way, I'll just shoot this way and shoot this way. It's not going to take much more time to stop by there. So I am going to make that trip as well on this journey. It's just part of my bucket list. You know, I when I found out I had a different dad and I didn't get to know him, and he was a guitar player too, by the way, which is really cool. So at least I come by it honest. It's in my blood. When I was a little kid, I used to, want to, I used to say, I'm saving up my money. I'm going to buy a guitar. And everybody was like, 
why are you buying a guitar? What are you talking about? Yeah, now at least I know where I get it from the blood, right? Anyway, uh, all right, I'm going to I'm gonna wrap things up. And overall, it's been a great journey with the van. The, the biggest things I did learn, again, were that I need a larger battery because I am a power-hungry person. I am a princess because I have to have those Planet Fitnesses. That was the best choice I made. I wasn't sure whether I should do it or not. I'll tell you what, every two, three hours, I'm stopping, you know. I'm using the bathroom, using the massage chair, uh, taking a shower if I need to. Uh, it's been amazing and awesome. And I think I brought too much stuff again. I even simplified my whole platform under the bed besides a folding chair was empty, you know. And uh, I've got this little dresser and I've got things in the dresser that I haven't even touched. So I guess... You know, I was worried about planning and organizing and getting ready to go. And then I left in a rush and I thought, well, if I'm missing something, I'm going to buy it at Walmart or something along the way, as long as I have medicines and things like that. And you know what? Less is better. The, the less you have, too, the easier it is to move. You know, when you have so many things all over in the van, it makes it hard to even just move around and stuff. At least for me, I'm a big guy. So, uh, you know, being six foot six and 330 pounds. Uh, yeah, I'm working on that. That's why I joined Planet Fitness, right? No, uh, but uh, it just in general, um, I do find it, it's not as easy to move around when you got to work around all these other things in the van. So um, yeah, I think I brought a little too much. Uh, I think I need one larger battery instead of all these little batteries that just keep dying on me. And uh, I'll probably maybe even bring one of them, like the 500 as a backup and use it exclusively for like Hot Logic and fans and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so those are some of the things I've learned. And I think that as future trips happen, it'll be easier. And I'll say, oh, I don't need that. Or, oh, I need to bring that. And there's been nothing that I thought, man, I really need to bring that. Things I'd like to bring that are not needs, they're just wants. Yeah, bigger battery, definitely. Uh, I would love, to be honest with you, to bring a Keurig. I am tired of sitting in McDonald's stupid drive through line for 15 minutes to get a cup of coffee. Most of them are closed and you got to sit in the, the drive through line for it. And every one of them is different. It's either bad or it's the one I swear they put sugar instead of Splenda in it because I'm diabetic and I try and stay away from all that stuff. I just asked for Splenda in it. And I was like, this tastes very different than every other McDonald's coffee. I think they put sugar in it. I didn't have, I didn't test my sugar or nothing to be able to tell, but it is what it is. I drank it because I was driving and I wanted to keep moving and, you know, keep awake. And like I said, I don't sleep a whole, whole lot in general. I average maybe four or five hours a night. Um, and that's, that's at home too. It has nothing to do with the van or anything. So, all right, guys, well, I'll talk to you all soon. And, uh, thanks for watching. So this is the expo center where they have the RV parking, electricity, sewer, bathrooms. It's been pretty nice. There's definitely lots of open spots. 10 bucks a night, can't beat it. That's where I've been staying. Oh,